In this lecture, we are going to model the roof and make the necessary customizations and editing so that it fits the type of roof that we want for this project. So without wasting time, let's get to work. So we start by activating the roof tool and that is accessible when we go to here to design menu and uh, architectural tools we click on this roof tool to activate the roof then we click on the settings dialog for for the roof when that is open we have the default settings for the roof here let me just close this yes then we can uh, start discussing one by one so under geometry and positioning and i click on that we'll have uh, options such as this which is pivot line offset to home story and this is set as three meters from the ground level we will have that as that as three meters three thousand millimeters then the home story is linked to is linked to the current story which is our ground floor we have a basic uh, we have a basic structure and a composite structure for the roof as the two options that are available structural options and we are going by the second one which is the composite structure below that we have uh, options for the type of building material that we want we have options for the type of building material that we want to have for the roof so what i will do i'll just click here then you will see these options we have the first one as the flat roof generic roof and shell we have a generic slab stock roof generic wall shell we have a roof aluminium we have roof tiled and roof zinc so we are going to select this option which is roof tiled click on it then then with that we get back here we have uh, our roof as multiplane roof and this here indicates the pitch so let's change this pitch to 30 degrees that's our roof pitch then with the, the roof's edge we want to have this as vertical so click on this and that's that's it with the geometry and positioning settings. So we open now the multi the multiplane geometry settings and the very first of this is we have the pitch that we have set from the other settings has been reflected here. So we have ifs over ang and this is offset to let's have 600 millimeters. Then curve resolution choose the first option by arc then we'll have 10 units which is the number of segments along an arc that we can have below that we have options for skylights so check this that skylights are treated as segments that skylights treat segments as curves so that's the end of a uh, multiple geometry settings below that we have floor plan and section this is uh, mostly customizations on how the roof line is going to appear on floor plan and both on section because because we still have uh, options for both cut surfaces outlines cover fields and and cut surfaces so i'm not going to change any of this but still if you have um, if you need to change how this appears on plan you can customize these lines change with the type of line that you want to have even you can also change the colors here depending on the pencils that you are working with you can also make customizations for the cover fields yeah and and under model we have uh, surfaces we have options for top surface edge surface and bottom surface so still we can be able to activate this by clicking on them and when they are activated we are able now to associate these surfaces with a custom building material so we click on this then we are able to we get access to this list of built-in building materials surfaces that we have in a Archicad 24 and from here we will choose the one that fits our roof so let's say we have uh, the top surface there the materials that we can have for that will be found here and uh, either we can have a roof roof tiles dutch we have uh, roof tiles french brown roof tiles french red roof tiles spanish 01 so among these you can choose one like let's say we have a uh, dutch tiles and then we this is going to reflect here so when you do that you will have customized the surfaces for for the roof i will uh, deactivate this 
and click back we have that as set so i will click ok and the settings that we have put in place have been saved for the roof that is for the roof tool so under info box contents we have geometry method as the first options that we are supposed to select initially we have selected this as a multi-plane roof because if you look at the nature of the layout of our plan to understand we can we cannot have a single plane roof covering this whole area then from there we have construction method we have three types of construction methods that are available here we have the first one which is a complex roof this is uh, the roof that as let's say in plan we have a complex uh, plan shape so this is the roof type that you select when you have a complex plan shape number two is the rectangular heap or a gable and this is selected or rather you select this option when the type of uh, plan you have is a simple rectangle either is either a simple rectangle rectangular shape or a square shape and the third the third option here is a rotated uh, rectangular uh, construction method which with the same with this is for a layout that is just simple with a, either a rectangular shape or a square shape so for a roof because we have a complicated rather we have a complex floor layout we we'll select this construction method as complex roof then from there we can start now drawing the outline of our roof so let's start with this point so what we do is you click on one of the corners and then you draw the outline of this line of this roof through all corners touching touching uh, the edges of the external walls as we are currently doing so i'll just i'll move to every corner through the edges of these external walls and draw the outline of the roof so i'll draw up to that point i'll move to that point then this and this corner then we'll have that we'll have this corner and this corner and we will move to this corner this corner and finally we will uh, complete at, at the point where we started so just click and release it then you will see these now these lines these dotted lines that are appearing these are the ones that form uh, the layout of the roof on plan so this is our roof that has been created if you want to appreciate the shape in 3d we activate the 3d view so that's how the roof looks in 3D. We will need to make some adjustments to an example is this uh, roof face at the front area. And uh, we still have such, some other areas such as this at the back and this one. We want to make them a gable end. So this is one of those places that we want to put a gable end and this other one here. So let's get back to floor plan view. So here on the floor plan, let's first concentrate with the, this part where we have the entry porch. I want to click on this node. Then with that node clicked on, we have this first option here, which is called stretch horizontal range. So if I click on this, I'll be able to stretch the, this line as you can see up to there and then click to release it then we get back to where we have this yard click on this node and uh, stretch that up to that point and click then let's go to where we have this bedroom so this is the edge click on that node select stretch horizontal ridge then you can be able now to move see what happens when you move that cursor towards that uh, area so this moves to place then you click to place it so we've made some uh, editing then for us to appreciate how that looks uh, in the 3d view so that's it this is uh, the rear part of the building you can see we have we have uh, an empty space here but the roof has taken the shape that we wanted to have see also at this point the roof has also taken that gable end shape that we wanted to achieve so this is the front part of the house we also have this area here this is the area that uh, we want to make it we want to make this wall to have a gable end so we get back to the 2d view then click on the outside to unselect the roof 
So you notice when the roof is unselected, we have these maroon lines, roof lines that show the, the ridges and the valleys. Then when you select it, we have nodes that are dark. Then we have some green lines that show the outline of, of the roof. So what I'm going to do, we'll zoom to the front part here where we have the entry porch. Then I will uh, go to documenting tools, which is found under document, documenting tools. I'll activate this line tool. Then from, from this edge, from here, I'll draw a line that is 600. That represents the width of, of the eaves that we had customized. And then with that, I'll select back the roof. Then click on this node, escape, click on that line. And after that, I will select this option of set edge and I will move and I will move that edge to where we have this line. Let's move that away. So that's where we have it. Click to release. Then when I'm done with that, click on the outside to unselect the roof. Then select this line and delete it. Let's zoom to the rear part where we have the yard. This area where we have the head, still with the line, I will uh, draw from this point towards that direction a line 600 millimeters. Enter. Then I will uh, extend this line here to act as my reference line. So select this line and extend it that way. Then I will delete this. So from there, the next option is to select the roof. Click on this edge. Then make sure you have selected this option, offset edge, then offset that edge up to where we have this line. So just to be sure, this is, this is the direction, then we move it up to where we have this line. Then when that is done, click on the outside to unselect the roof, then select this line and delete it. We repeat the same procedure with this area where we have the bedroom. So just with the with the line tool that we had activated, let's choose this uh, chained method. So we have a 600 here, and then this moves to that direction. So click on the roof again, select this edge, and have this option for offset edge selected. Then offset that edge to where we have that line. Click on the outside to unselect the roof. Then select this, select this line and delete it. So with that operation, what we have done is we have extended the eaves for the for, for this for this roof that we had for this roof part that we had edited, we have extended the eaves to cover the same the same distance from the wall as the other parts of the roof. So let's get to the 3D view and see what customizations we have come with and see what uh, changes we have implemented. So if you look at this 3D, you see now this offset, this offset for the front part here has been uh, implemented. We, uh, we have this roof fully covering the area at the front. So with this, I want to select this wall which is at the front here and open the settings dialog for that wall then under geometry and positioning we have here this story home and I will choose that we will not we will unlink this so that this wall which is 3000 millimeters I will change that to 4500 millimeters then enter and you will see that that has been updated on the 3D. Then with that, we'll also select the roof. And when that roof is selected, we have this option here, up here, which, which says trim elements to roof. So I'll click on it. Then it is going to ask me select trimming roof and shell. So I'll say use roofs and shells from current selection and click trim to execute. So when that has been done, click on the outside to unselect those elements and you see we have uh, trimmed this wall. We have trimmed this front wall here so that now it looks well. So what I'll do is select this wall also and these two. 
so we need this that wall and this wall so open the settings dialog for them too and increase their height by 200 click ok so that all alls have been minimized then at the front here you have this empty opening door that is act up opening 24 so select it then open the settings dialog for that then if you can see here we have a small wall that is protruding from the roof for now we start having the empty opening i want to remove that so we go to the preview and positioning settings and we have that still to story which is 100 here i'll change the I will change the value to 0, then I will change this height to 2400 millimeters and click OK. So the changes have been uh, implemented. I will do the same with, with this opening and this opening here. So open the settings dialog for that. Seal to story, change that to 0, and then this height here change to 2400 and click OK. Then you will see these ones adjust. And that is how I want the front part to look like. So let's go to, to the rear part of the house and see what changes we can make. So we will start with this area that we have, uh, this bedroom. I will start by selecting this wall, going to the settings dialog for that wall. And then under top link, I will uh, choose not linked so that th that wall is unlinked. Then we can be able to change this height to this for 500 millimeters and click OK. So when that height adjusts, we select the roof and trim elements to roof. Then we'll select these two walls here. Go to the settings dialog for the wall and adjust the height by 200 here. So that space has been sealed. Let's go to this area. And for this area, I will select this wall and after selecting that wall we'll open the settings dialog for the wall then under top link i'll choose not linked and i'll change this uh, height of the wall to 4.5 meters and click ok and we'll have that adjust still i'll select this roof choose this option for trimming elements to roof and click trim and you will see that operation uh, get performed then click on the outside and select so when that is done i need to adjust uh, settings for these openings so let me click to select this opening go to the settings dialog for that then when that is open and a seal to story which is this is a seal and a value we'll have this as zero then i will have the height of these as 2.4 meters and click ok that's in that's in order so select these others I'll, i have this and this selected then still the same operation we open the settings dialog for that we change the seal to story under prevent positioning settings we change seal to story uh, height as zero then the total height of that uh, of that opening as 2.4 then click on ok and this is going to adjust so that's how to do further customizations and editing with that we've done most of uh, of the complex operations that you you should understand for you to be able to work with the complex roofs so that is how the roof looks like and when you look at the house from the top this is how the roof looks like so we've managed to do we've managed we've managed to model a complex roof for our project and we've uh, also done some customizations and editings We've learned how to trim elements to roof. We've learned how to, to adjust some edges for the roof so that we can achieve the exact shape that we want and the layout that we want for our house. So that's it. So that marks the end of our lecture. Make sure to follow through that process and be able to come up with the same roof that we have discussed.